All right, so we're back up at our bush camp and I wanna get started on part two of getting this uh, shelter up. I do plan on camping here tonight, so I wanna get this thing going. And I also wanna get a fire reflector built so that I can have a nice, uh, enjoyable night here tonight. Um, I don't know if the other guys are gonna make it. Uh, I know Todd uh, picked up a cold through the week. He said he might try to get up here for the day. And Casey, I know, ended up having to work part of the day today, but he, I did get a text from him this morning saying that he was gonna try to get up here around noon. So that's all up in the air as far as anybody else gonna be up here with me uh, to, for tonight. But I'm here and um, I do wanna get this shelter done, so let's get started on it. Okay, so I've got a log here that I wanna use as my cross support uh, on my, where the two angled logs come down. I've already kind of picked this log up, shook it around a little bit just to make sure that it wasn't too rotted and gonna fall apart on me. So I'm gonna cut this thing into a section long enough to go across there. And then next we'll, we'll get this, um, show you how I'm gonna get it attached to those logs. Alright, so a little change in plan. Um, I've decided that what I'm going to do is put this log down here. Now my original intention was to set the log right here and go across this way and putting a support across the middle. But after further thought on that, I decided that was kind of pointless for me to do that because I've got center tie out points on the tarp and I'm going to be tying that out to a tree out this way, which will be pulling the back of the tarp out anyhow and that center support would basically be doing nothing but I did still want to use this log I decided so I put it down here below and I'm going to actually kind of wrap the tarp over this log and wrap the tarp over this log this way coming back under and I think that will give me more usable space inside there along with like I said the tarp being tied out so the first thing I need to do is there's several knots on these logs that I need to get taken care of um, and get it cleaned up so I don't end up poking a hole in my tarp uh, going around this. So I'm going to get my axe out and take care of that. Alright, so what I intend to do now is I'm gonna tie the ends to each other. So I'm gonna go around each, this log here and around the back log, and I'll just tie these two ends together and pull them tight using a trucker's head, uh, trucker's knot. And then that'll pull the tarp tight. And then what I'll do is I'll tie off the two center points uh, to the trees in the back. All right, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to use a clove hitch and use a, uh, toggle at the bottom here the little stop knot so that it won't pull through that will hold the bottom now then at the top all I have to do is run this through there and I'll pull it down tight. And just do kind of like a trucker's hitch right there on that tie out. So I can just reinforce that, but that'll make that nice and tight. And I'll go and do, ahead and do that all the way down my four tie outs and then I'll make it nice and tight around the, around both logs. All 
All right, so we pretty much got everything uh, set up as far as the shelter is concerned now. You know, one thing I added was this log here in front of the shelter that kind of just gives me a place to sit uh, when I'm in front of the fire. And I'm gonna actually uh, carve in and put a flat spot on this log so it's a little bit more comfortable to sit and I can use it as kind of a table. One other thing too before I uh, bed down for tonight is I'm gonna take some of the um, fir boughs that I uh, cut off these two trees here uh, when I limb them up and I'm gonna take them and spread them out inside here and before I put my bivy down and everything. So the next thing I gotta yet do is uh, build a fire reflector. Uh, I'm not going to video that today because I'm just gonna build kind of a temporary one and in a, in a future video, we'll build a, a better, uh, better one that will kind of wrap the front of the camp a little bit better. So, but that's kind of more than I want to try to pull off today. I still need to gather a bunch of firewood and everything, and and to before I'm ready to stay the night here. Um, as it is right now, just to kind of go over a couple of things, you know, I've got the tarp all the way to this side of the frame. And that's mainly because this tree here has got um, some pretty good oak, uh, branch overhang, which offers me an extra level of, of protection from the elements. Plus it gives me a nice view of this hillside that's over to my left here. And um, I've already was uh, blessed by a couple uh, locals uh, walking through. Um, fortunately, I didn't have my good camera with me, but I did have my old camcorder in my pocket, so I was able to get some footage of a couple of mule deer uh, does feeding uh, along the hillside there. So that was kind of neat, and I, so I'm hoping that uh, if I'm sitting here and just kind of quiet, that uh, I may get the opportunity to see more wildlife as they pass by here. But that will kind of conclude um, what, I, what I'm doing for the shelter part. I'm, and uh, like I said, I am gonna stay the night here and that will be kind of a video on its own. And, but uh, in future videos, we'll just continue to improve upon this location and improve upon uh, things and, and build some other things like maybe a table or some other useful things for this camp. But right now we'll, we'll call her a day and I'll see you guys in the next video.